guys, it's Robin and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable Pete the Cat cake out of all buttercream. It was so simple and really fun, so I really think you guys are going to like this one. So let's get into it. So for today's cake, we're going to need one 10 inch layer in the flavor of your choosing and I'm using chocolate as you guys can see. And I'm just very quickly going to level this out, readjust my cake leveler and then tort this cake into two separate layers so we can add some yummy buttercream in between. But before I begin that step, we are first going to cut out the shape that we need because it'll make it a lot easier to cut into the cake without my knife getting all sticky and messy like it would if there was already a layer of buttercream. So we're just going to carefully trim away all of the excess cake and pull away whatever we don't need and you could save it and freeze it for later or you can have a snack if you're feeling hungry. <laughs> So before we begin assembly, we're going to want to make sure that first layer of cake is attached securely. So I'm just going to place a little bit of buttercream on my cake board and then attach that first layer of cake by giving it a little press down and squishing it into the buttercream. Now I'm just taking a piping bag and we're very carefully piping a border all the way around the outside so we can add some fun colored stripes in between. And be sure to stay tuned because we'll be cutting it open so you guys can see inside too. Now when it came to choosing these colors, I obviously had to use yellow and blue, but Pete also wears a pair of red and white sneakers in his stories, and I thought it would be fun to use those colors too. And to apply these colors, I'm not doing anything fancy, I just filled up my piping bags, snipped off the tip, and we're just trying to pipe these nice and straight and keep our lines nice and clean so it doesn't look messy. But if you're having a little bit of trouble piping your lines nice and straight, not to worry. When you cut open the cake, you're still going to see all the different colors and it's going to look super cool anyway. Alright, so we're just going to finish filling in these lines and once our entire center layer is filled in with buttercream, we're going to add our final layer of cake and then we're going to finish it off with a nice thick layer of buttercream. Now my second layer of cake was a little bit flimsy because my cake was really moist and I did end up breaking off an ear, but not to worry, once we add our buttercream and smooth it out, that's going to hold everything all together. Now typically at this point I would do a crumb coat and then later on do a final coat of buttercream. But to save ourselves a little bit of time, I'm going to attempt to pipe on an extra thick layer and see if we can't forego that second layer entirely. So to ensure we get really good coverage, we're first going to begin by piping big thick lines around the outside right on top of each other, stacking them really good so there's no spaces in between. Now once we reach the top of the head, we're going to want to pay particular attention to the corners as well as the tips of the ears, making sure there's no little spaces and you filled in all those nooks and crannies. Now that's going to make your job so much easier when it's time to do the smoothing. So once we've completed the sides, you're going to want to fill up another piping bag and then fill in the top as well. And once you have that completely covered, we're going to take a small offset spatula and very carefully smooth the top out. And for all of you beginners, I'd just like to mention that this is on the top of my list of essential baking tools. It is so perfect for all of your buttercream applications and it is right up there with a good bench scraper and a proper stainless steel turntable. And if you are interested in purchasing any of these items, you can find Amazon links to all of these as well as lots of other great caking tools in the description box down below. And these are affiliate links, so I don't get paid if you click, only if you buy. And if you do purchase something, I want to thank you so much for all of your support. It really helps my little channel grow. So once I finished smoothing the top, I switched over to a flexible smoother to help finish smoothing the sides. Then to finish it off, I took my offset spatula once again and using gentle inward dragging strokes, I cleaned up that outer edge, leaving a nice smooth finish behind. And there we go, I think that turned out pretty good. I don't see any chocolate cake showing through. So now I'm gonna pop that into the fridge and allow that to firm up in preparation for our final buttercream decorations. 
So while we're waiting for that to firm up and chill, we are going to do a little bit of stencil work and make our one and only fondant decoration. Now, I thought our cake board looked a little bit empty and I wanted to add another little punch of color. So we're doing a very simple Pete the Cat logo to dress up our cake a little. So with the time it took to create our fondant cake board decoration, that gave us plenty of time for our cake to firm up, and now we can use our stencil right on top of the buttercream without too much worry about it sticking. And now using my X-Acto knife, I'm just very carefully marking off the pattern so we know where to pipe our buttercream. So the eyes consist of a few different colors and we're going to pipe it on in layers. So I'm going to start with my yellow buttercream and we're just going to very carefully pipe an outline first and then fill that little space in in between. Now I'm going to switch over and fill in our second eye and then we're going to take a small offset spatula and smooth each of these out and make them look nice and neat. So because our eyes are going to be piped on in separate layers, once we've smoothed out the first layer, we're going to give it a few minutes to firm up before adding that next layer of buttercream. So while we're waiting, we're going to give our sweet little Pete a cute little nose. So I'm just going to take my white piping bag, pipe a tiny white triangle in the little portion that we marked off where his nose is supposed to go. And then once we have his nose nice and smooth, all we have left to do is finish off the eyes. So our buttercream firmed up a little bit and I was able to mark off the pattern that we need using our stencil. And then I just filled in that little section with our black buttercream. And now using my small offset spatula, I'm just very gently smoothing these out before adding our final little touch of white buttercream. Well, there you have it guys. Our cake is all done and I don't think it could have turned out more sweet. All we have left to do is add one more little punch of color to our cake board by adding our logo and then our Pete the Cat Cake is complete. And for those of you who may have forgotten the best part, we have a little surprise. We get to cut this one open and see all the pretty colors inside. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like and a comment, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell too. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.